district governor Yasser, past district governors, district governor elects, nominees, DRRs, fellow Rotarians, and Rotaractors. Protocol observed. BDG Nijat, thank you very much for inviting me to this very important meeting. Every activity with our two sister districts, especially with involvement of Rotaractors, is more than appreciated. Rotaractors bring new energy and motivation to everything we do and develop dynamic friendship and professional networks with everyone we meet. When I learned about the changes that allowed Rotaractors to join a Rotary Club while maintaining their Rotaract membership, I saw an opportunity and knew that we have to take it. Dual membership is one of the most effective ways devised to achieve the best of both worlds. Rotary and Rotaract combined is an approach that definitely and once and for all leaves behind the maturity, money, prospects of service and friendship. This challenge put us in front of put in front of us gives us the unique opportunity to get the best of Rotaract and Rotary and allows us to build more dynamic clubs with greater scope of perspective, more debate, more ideas, and more and better service in more communities. We consider Rotaract as our key resource for developing membership, be innovative, and increase our ability to adapt. Rotaract enables other young people to join a global movement of young leaders who are developing innovative solutions to the world's most pressing challenges. So it's a really exciting time to get involved, giving you the chance uh, to learn new skills, meet new people, give back to the community and shape what you would like out of Rotaract. I invite and encourage my fellow Rotaractors to that. Approach your sponsoring Rotary clubs or other clubs in the area and ask about the options. Or if you can, can't find the Rotary Club that's right for you, start your own. It's possible. And to my fellow Rotarians, not to wait for the Rotaractors to approach you. Come and invite them to join your clubs. Just like that, we all contribute to a more committed Rotary, a Rotary serving humanity. We must continue to explore and refine this important new opportunity, delivering clear ideas and effective advice on how to properly implement dual membership in our clubs and districts. Thank you once again and all the best. I wish you all a productive meeting. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> First of all, the protocol observed. I'm as I need your hour for District 2451. I want to start my uh, talk uh, with my, my favorite quote, Rotaract is lifestyle. We all here for serving our community, building future leaders, and leaving our fingerprint. Rotary always is our backbone. All Rotarians here supporting us, providing us with their experience, and now <clears throat> we are partners in service. Together, we working to enhance our image and more and more services for our community. I would like to take the chance to thank our DG Yasser Nash'at and uh, P, uh, Rotaract Chairperson Mohamed Lutayef for their continuous support. Last but not least, it's all about passion, opportunities, spirit, and responsibilities. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hez. And now we have the one who has been in contact with me for the past two days. We, we almost did not stop talking. DRR Yasmina, thank you for everything. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Nihal. Dear DG Ashot, dear DG Yasser, dear Rotarians, dear Rotaractors, protocol observed. I'm Yasmina al -Asi, the district Rotaract representative for District 2452, a Rotaractor for nine years now from the Rotaract Club of Saida in Lebanon. I can't express how glad I am to see all of us, Rotarians and Rotaractors, gathered from both districts 2451 and 2452. 
it is very important for us to capitalize on the previous relationships we had between Egypt and the other countries of the District 2452. Yes, we are from the same Rotarian family and with the same values and common structure. Yet, there's plenty to learn from the different cultures, experiences, and backgrounds we have. Today, we are not only bridging the gap between Rotarians and Rotor actors, but also building a foundation for future partnerships. Be assured, my friends, that today's webinar is one among a series of other events that we will be planning in the coming days and years. For that, we ask you to be interactive and creative today to help us know how we can develop these relationships, brainstorm potential initiatives, and contribute to cross countries social impact. I will take this opportunity to invite Diara Razza to stay in touch to further encourage the activities between us and inform and, and also to inform you, all of you, Rotarians and Rotor actors, for the first time, that we will be holding our District 2452 conference in our beloved Lebanon from the 10th to the 12th of June. So we will be waiting for you, and uh, we look forward to meet you and work with you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, dear Yasmin. Of course, we'll do our best to keep in touch. And now we will start our first session. A first session is a vocational discussion on how Rotary has helped us professionally and personally. I want you all yeah, I'd want you all to think about something, to think about a project that helped enhance your project and start raising your hands so we can uh, take it one by one. We have three minutes to think about a project that actually affected uh, our experiences professionally, per personally, even on Rotor Act level, and we'd start sharing it with one another. So please, once you have the idea ready, just come forward and raise your hand. I'll unmute you instantly. Hi, Omar. Hello, Nihal. Uh, thank Hi, you. how are you? The floor Fine. is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everyone, protocol observed. Uh, uh, so when this question was uh, it came to my mind, uh, uh, I remembered when I was the vice president of Attract uh, BAU two years ago when we started initiating activities, and uh, we had fire fire forests, and um, we had uh, in the BA area a lot of fires, and uh, our campus in uh, BAU and um, uh, in the BA area was uh, like. Um, had uh, been affected with the fire. So we took the initiative and we uh, uh, we are based on the Beirut campus. So we took uh, our way into the B campus. We had people in need there uh, who were leaving their homes uh, because of the fires. Uh, they, it was winter season. So we started helping them with uh, um, uh, having some uh, stuff to help them through the bad weather as well as uh, with food and drinks since they left their homes so that they can uh, continue the, the, uh, the, the coming days uh, so that they can get back to their home. We were, uh, we were collaborating with many NGOs there in the area um, uh, that, uh, that were uh, hosting these people. It really affected me uh, on the personal level as I was seeing how really we were uh, achieving a fellowship through service. Uh, we were hand in hand together um, um, standing beside the people in need and uh, me as a pharmacist, as, uh, my, uh, as a pharmacy student and, and uh, to, be the, uh, to be specific, uh, uh, we consider ourselves a humanitarian uh, profession and we need to help people in need. So uh, this always reminds me now that we are having the drug shortage in Lebanon, how people are really in need of drugs and how uh, in that time uh, we could have helped these people and how we, uh, how uh, uh, every time Rather Act uh, uh, Lebanon and district level uh, stands beside the people in need in every country, whatever the problem was. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Omar, for this wonderful experience. Pasant, please introduce yourself, unmute yourself and introduce yourself, then go over with your project. Hi, I'm Pasan Talibshihi, Rotrag Giza Metropolitan, uh, Treasurer Rotrag Giza Metropolitan. It's, uh, it's my honor to be uh, here with you all. It's my pleasure to know and meet all of you. 
and I will talk now about um, about uh, my favorite two projects uh, when I joined the uh, Rotor Act. Uh, first, Matbakh Masr. Uh, we 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 did it. Uh, if we did it if every every Ramadan, uh, and back to school uh, to you know, to to support the 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 poverty and the poor people who didn't uh, have enough money to pay il, uh, il, uh, to pay il, uh, il fees about uh, fees money about uh, that's all <laughs> i'm shaking now but it's our pleasure to meet you all thank you so much thank you thank you so much basant for this wonderful project we work on these meals every year and it's it's always a pleasure to do that um Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Momani from Jordan. Uh, I would like to raise the projects we are currently doing in Jordan. So we are also have a project that's called the Lebanon Aid. Uh, we are collecting medical supplies in order to shift, to shift, uh, to, to ship them to Lebanon uh, at the end of this month. Uh, and also we are planning uh, a project that is called Winter Act. Uh, uh, three different clubs are planning uh, this project. Uh, it aims to distribute uh, the stuff that are needed uh, uh, for people in winter. Uh, we're going to to like uh, to uh, to poor neighborhoods, uh, people that are in need. Uh, we're going to distribute uh, warmers, oil, uh, blankets, and everything they need for uh, for winter in order to keep them warm from the cold weather. Um, currently, the, these are the planned events. Uh, all the clubs are also doing uh, intensive fundraising events, uh, so they all can collect more and more funds in order to conduct uh, bigger projects. Uh, thank you all. Thank you so much, Ahmed. Thank you for coming forward. And now we have Rogi. Rogi is our past, our Rotor Act past president from Giza Metropolitan. It's a pleasure to have you with us today, Rogi. Please, the floor is yours. Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Um, actually, there are a lot of projects that have, have uh, affected me personally, but um, I, I guess uh, all the projects have affected me, but uh, there is a certain uh, look that I, can, I cannot uh, forget was like um, three years ago, I guess, uh, when I was the, the president and we were doing um, an event uh, with uh, a lot of refugees and there was this little boy, Syrian kid, and uh, he was injured at the beginning of the event and he was crying a lot. Uh, but then after uh, we have worked together and uh, we have all started having fun and he was smiling for the entire day and he was, and actually there was a very, very, cool picture of him with me and I really love it and um, till this day I can't remember I can't forget uh, how how happy he was and how how amazing that I, I, I made him feel about the fact that he feels as uh, he feels as home because of course of the war in Syria and he's in a very strange country but we have to do this all the time we have to uh, help the people who are in need and that is something that I will never ever forget so I hope that all of you have felt something like that and because that's what we're doing right thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much Rogi this was a wonderful project and you did great and now we have Wail, Wail Mirhi if I'm pronouncing it correct I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing any names wrong I'm very sorry about that Good evening, everybody. My name is Wael Mirai. I'm the current president of Rotaract Ali. As you know, as you might, may know, Lebanon is facing multiple of challenges. And one of these challenges is electricity shortage, which means the roads at night may be un unsafe to drive. Thus, Rotaract Club of Ali and Rotaract Hamana and Interact Ali, partnering with a leading safety road organization, Yaza, are implementing project called Reflect to Protect, the project will include placing reflective signs on the side roads of roads for better night for better night lightning and to grow the path of the Lebanese citizens. The project aims to promote road safety and save lives, and as well as we'll be holding uh, awareness about uh, road safety and how to respect the road signs. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Will. This is very smart indeed. Um, I don't know if there is anyone else who would like to talk. Please come forward. We still have, we still have some time. Um, yeah, I think Hala was trying to to uh, to raise. Sure her hand. thing. She can she can definitely unmute herself and start talking. I don't mind at all. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's very nice to be here. So I'm Hala Khsoub from Lebanon. Uh, I'm a past deputy DRR of our district, a past VDRR, and the past president of Rotaract Sihil Maten. So um, I, I want to share with you um, a very beautiful experience or collaboration we as Rotaractors had the chance to um, experience in Lebanon. You all know about the Beirut blast and how intense and traumatizing it was for all the Lebanese people. So after the Beirut blast, um, we witnessed a huge support. And one of the most beautiful things that happened is that the Rotaract Mediterranean MDIO joined, joined force, uh, forces with the leaders of our district. And they organized an online crowdfunding for Lebanon where we managed um, with the support of the international community and Rotaract. And thanks to all of your support, we managed to uh, raise more than 30,000 euros, which led to fixing uh, 40 houses so far, 40 houses and small businesses. So uh, this was one of the most amazing projects that has been done recently. And the implementation was done jointly between all the Rotaract clubs in Lebanon. In addition to that, we organized ourselves as Rotaractors and as volunteers on the ground to work on an aid drive uh, for, uh, uh, to distribute goods like basic goods like food boxes, hygiene boxes, baby kits and all. And we were receiving goods from all around the world and we were distributing them. We received a big quantity of goods from Rotary and Rotaract in Bahrain and, and from many other countries and from Rotarians and Rotaractors as well in Lebanon from all around the country. So we managed to distribute these goods to more than 1,200 families. It was a massive amount of, uh, of distribution. We were on the ground for more than four months, uh, sorting out goods and distributing them. And um, yeah, that was like, and we worked as well on many other collaborations with Rotary on a global grant to fix a hospital that is still in progress now. So I wanted to share um, like these few inspiring stories with everyone because these stories, they inspired all of us here in Lebanon and uh, we were very blessed and we feel very, uh, thankful for all the support we have we had a chance to witness from the international community thank you this is this is indeed very inspiring we're so proud of you we're so proud of everyone who's trying to make lebanon the beautiful country it was and it will always be thank you so much um okay so i want to take a minute or two of your time to actually share my experience as someone who has been part of rotor act for the past for five years, I think. Um, I'm currently, I want to, to actually share how it affected me personally. Rotor Act has been some sort of my professional best friend. I work in the humanitarian sector here in Egypt. I work at the UNHCR office here. I work with different nationalities. I work with different cultures. And what helped me actually get through it and what helped me climb this career ladder quickly was actually the project we worked on. I was asked in so many interviews about the projects I have worked on more than my academic knowledge. I was asked about hand crisis, the, the crises we see in all the projects, the, um, the things that pop out out of nowhere. I still remember very well one time we were supposed to deliver uh, some stuff to, uh, to a certain place and suddenly there was no driver, no car and the people or waiting somewhere for the cars. I still, <laughs> I still remember one day when we were having a distribution and many people did not show up because of the weather and then we had to work four to five people only and we did it. So I think I can actually say that Rotor Act has taught me how to be 
God how to be fair and above all how to always put serve above me to put service above everything and to always think if I, what I'm doing is fair to everyone is good to everyone is it of a goodwill I would ask you to please we will wait for a minute for one minute for Bassem he's trying to uh, join us with his uh, experience uh, however he's having a problem with the connection he just whatsapp me we will wait for a minute or two until he is able to uh, join us Nihal I would like to ask Basil Wehbe I, I'm putting him on, on spot but I think sure to... sure please Basil please come forward if you can hear me I just want to ask him if he wanted to join to, to speak uh, okay. about <laughs> Dubai. I don't he know. Left. <laughs> no, he's, 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 he's with us. He's with us. He's with us. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries, guys. I was just waiting a turn uh, to give you a Thank quick you. brief about uh, what is happening these these days with Rotary Act and Rotary in UAE. Uh, gladly, uh, the country is hosting the Expo 2020, which is one of the biggest international events that happens globally, and we have 196 countries present. Luckily, our uh, Rotary and Rotary Act uh, clubs are also represented within Expo as part of Dubai Cares under uh, uh, the uh, uh, support and patronage of His, ex of, of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. And uh, we have an office that represents Rotary globally, and visitors that are in the expo can also pass to this office to see what we are doing on local and in district, and of course on international level to get to know more, to get to participate, to get to donate also to many of the causes plus and polio. Additionally, we are having a very interesting uh, end polio. Um, it's a walkathon more than a marathon to go across all the all the expo area that will be super interesting so whoever is planning to visit expo or will be visiting dubai by any chance during the next five to six months please do reach us out and we will be so happy to host you and show you around uh, my name is bassam farag and uh, i'm the international service director for heliopolis sporting club um uh, uh, actually, I had. Uh, it's not about a certain project. Uh, I, I texted you wrong. I'm, I'm shaking currently. So, uh, I. It's about every single project that adds a value into me. Uh, not a just not just value into community. Like uh, I'm. I have severe introversion, and and usually I cannot speak on spot or speak in front of many people. Uh, but due to every single project uh, of team working and, and trying to engage with people. Uh, I'm, I'm now like more better, like it's, it's, it's not, it's not hundred percent that I could speak uh, normally in front of people, but uh, I'm really, really better at speaking with, with people and in front of you like currently. And that's all thanks to Rotaract and, and Rotary of course. Thank you so much, Basim. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of your courage to come forward and talk to us today. This is amazing. You've done a great effort and we could not be more proud. Yes, my dear. I'm sorry I interrupted you, I think. But no, no, no. We, no have, we have the video RR of uh, Vice District Rotaract Representative Amir from Palestine. Uh, I, would like to ask, I, I, I would like to ask him if he, he would like to share an experience, a project, uh, anything. Yeah, we have, we have five more minutes. Sure he can. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thanks, Yasmina, for uh, the introduction. Well, and, and thank you guys for hosting this event. It's such a pleasure to be part of it. Um, basically, uh, our club has been hit hard by the corona pandemic. And uh, since then, we're still trying to pick up pace and to build our membership. But uh, previously, we had great, great projects on a local level. Uh, we have worked on many events that were similar to events like uh, the ones that they were mentioned by the, our Jordanian colleagues. We had also a, a, a Will to Act event where we have gathered and uh, fun, uh, we conducted fundraiser events to help people in need in the winter season. We have also did uh, a Ramadan uh, uh, event also to help people in need during the Ramadan and the Eid season where we, have, we were able to uh, collect around um, 
$4,000, and we were able to work with different clubs to help um, uh, people during that month. We also, uh, during that uh, time, we also worked with uh, an international organization from America that specializes in bringing doctors and giving people access to health care living in marginalized areas. We were very successful in doing that. We did a mobile clinic where we had doctors, dentists, uh, general practitioners on all of these people to help people who are living in those areas. So yeah, we had a variety of projects that we worked on, but unfortunately, due to the pandemic that hit us so hard, we're trying to pick up, and we're so happy to be with you and being inspired from your projects, your experiences, and hopefully, we can collaborate with you in Egypt, Lebanon, or Jordan, or any other countries within the district, and maybe and to build uh, a better future and help people and serve people who are in need. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amir. We'd love to have Taman a, a joint project or, or a collaboration as soon as possible. Now I'd love to leave the floor for my beautiful DRRs, Aizel, Laini, and Jasmina to start their talks. Or is yours, guys. I think we'd start with Yasmina. Uh, so please, Yasmina, I'll stop sharing my screen and you can start sharing your presentation. Sure, thank you so much. I will try to share. Perfect. Please let me know if you can see my presentation. I will be quick, but it's very informative. I'm doing uh, this presentation. We, we actually, I'm doing this presentation on behalf of every uh, one who organized this, uh, uh, this meeting, because I believe that we have a lot of Rotarians with us today, and it's very important for them to know about Rotor actors and what we do, and as well to know, for you guys to know more about our district, 2452. Maybe you will be, uh, uh, for because we're planning a joint uh, eventual and potential joint projects in the future. So you have to know more about us and know the, a, bit, a bit of our dynamics because it's a bit of a complicated uh, uh, and different uh, district because we have different countries. So just uh, starting um, um, as, as a Rotary actor, as I previously said for nine years, uh, Rotary Act is actually my life. And I agree and, and uh, 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 would like to re-say what uh, DRR Azad says and what we say to our guests, Rotary Act is a lifestyle. So our friends, our life, our time, 90% uh, of our time is dedicated to, to this amazing organization that helped us, which helped us to become what we are today. Um, and uh, Bassam, just for you to know, I as well had difficulties talking in public and, and, and having speeches, and, and it was a bit difficult for me. But now, because of Rotary Act, I'm here, I'm doing public speaking, and, and it's, uh, we, we're doing great, and you did great. So thank you for sharing your experience. Um, in brief, uh, I just want to know briefly or, or, or ask you a, a very fast question. Does anyone know the, uh, how to fill the blanks? Rotarians, you can please uh, 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 play this game with us. Does anyone know, uh, 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 for example, Rotrag brings together adults aged between which ages? Please, guys, be interactive, speak. 18 it's, plus. Yes, Vassal, thank you. So, uh, and, and, and do you guys know um, uh, what, what do we work on developing? Which skills? Leadership skills. Yes. Interpersonal? Yes. <laughs> cooking. One more, one more, one more. Uh, cooking might come with the interpersonal <laughs> skills. <laughs> the rest, any idea? Yeah. There's one Inter more. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, yes, it's it's within the inter inter interpersonal skills and leadership skills. Exactly. So does anyone? I would like to ask the Rotarians, please, Rotary actors, don't answer. What is our motto as Rotary actors? Rotarians, Rotarians, Rotarians. <laughs> We know your motto. Actually, when we get guests, they, the first thing they say, we ask them about our motto as Rotary actors, they say service about self. Service this, above self. No, this is Rotary. Rotary. Where else I know. You... So, 
not to take so long. So Rotaract brings together adults aged between 18 and above. So we, it was 30, but now it's after uh, Elevate Rotaract, it's above. Um, and in order for us to take action in, the, uh, in our communities, to develop our leadership skills and uh, professional skills, and most importantly, have fun. And from the have fun term, I would like to go to our motto. Rotaract motto is fellowship through service. So uh, uh, when we say having fun, we say that in order for us to give service, we need to become friends and we need to uh, 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 have built this family between us. So what we do is we do empowerment. We are here to empower our, our rotor actors, our guests. We give them all their, we, we try to, to capitalize on their potential in order for them to, uh, to be able to go to the communities and do the work. We are active, uh, we have active participation in different activities and different webinars. Uh, we develop our skills uh, so public speaking, leadership, uh, um, entrepreneurial skills. Um, and what we are doing today is expanding our network, our network of family, friendships, acquaintances. Um, and uh, most importantly, we do local and international projects. Uh, and this is what we want. This is the conclusion we want to, to, to have from this, uh, from this uh, meeting is to have common projects. We all live in, under this word. And as our Rotary International says, Shekhar uh, Mahta, uh, uh, we are here, we need to pay the fee for living in this world. So our fee is doing good and giving back to the community. Um, so uh, uh, just a, a quick reminder, Rotor Act started in 1968. We are here to, do, to, to give innovative solutions to the problems we are living in. There's lots of problems. However, there's more solutions that we can uh, bring out. Uh, and we work and, uh, uh, to, to bring peace to this world. Um, and all the projects that you stated are peace projects. Uh, our projects that are get, getting innovative solutions. Um, so uh, for you to know, we are in the world, we are 10,698 Rotary Act clubs, uh, 203,000 uh, um, Rotary Actors almost, and in 180 countries. So we are so rich, we are so diverse, and now we are only two districts. Imagine if we gather more districts with us next time. Um, so in our district, District 2452, uh, we started in 1980. It was uh, in Lebanon, the first uh, club that, uh, that, uh, that started in our district. Um, I put something here that is very interesting. Uh, so, and this is interesting for you also in District 2451 because you were part of this. In 1932, uh, Egypt was in the district. We, we uh, um, as District 2452 plus Egypt, we were the same district. So we started all of us in 1930, uh, in, in 1932. However, in, 19, in 2013, because Egypt has so many people and the population is so big, they had to open their own district. So you guys shifted to a district called 2451. And we, as the, the remaining countries, we shifted into another uh, district, which is 2452. So um, um, in our district, 2452, we started in 1980 as Rotary Actors. When we, say that, when we say that the district, both districts started in 1932, we are speaking about the first Rotary Club. So the first Rotary Club in Egypt and uh, within the district that had Egypt also started in 1932. So in our district 2452, so for anyone who would love to work with the district 2452 needs to know that we cover three continents, which is uh, Asia, Africa, and uh, Europe. We have nine countries in our district. That's why now you heard projects from Palestine, Jordan, we have uh, uh, Cyprus, we have Armenia, uh, we have uh, Bahrain, we have UAE, uh, and we have Sudan um, uh, and Lebanon. Uh, and in our district, Georgia. We have, and, and Georgia, and Georgia, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, DG. <laughs> so, uh, and, and in our district, we have 52 uh, rotary clubs and more than 950 rotary actors. So you, uh, uh, Egypt, you can see how the potential we have and the, the, the variety we can have in the, in the uh, potential project. So these are the clubs, Cyprus, Armenia, Georgia, Palestine, Jordan, Sudan, Bahrain, UAE, 
And now you will understand why we put those lines, because in our district, the Rotor Act uh, um, um, uh, theme for this year is Grow Stronger. Uh, and Grow Stronger is in order because we have a vision to join the effort of all the countries in the District 2452 to work together, to grow together. It's time to grow. We've been, we've been going through fundamental changes. And after Elevate Rotor Act, it's time to grow. And growing, we, we mean not growing alone. Growing is also when other districts grow and all the Rotor Act and all the world grow. So this is why we want to work with you as District 2452. District 2452 insists on working with District 2451 because we believe that we working together will make us grow together. So our goals as Rotary actors, for all Rotary actors in the world, for Rotarians to know, we develop professional leaders, leadership skills. We emphasize respect for rights for of, of others based on recognition of worth. We recognize dignity. We recognize practices and promote ethical standards. We develop knowledge and understanding of needs, and we provide opportunities for personal and group activities, such uh, 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 such this 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 uh, uh, project, our webinar we're doing today. Um, and most importantly, we can work on club service, on community service, on personal development, and inter inter uh, international uh, understanding. Um, here, I would like uh, to say that uh, thank you so much for everyone. I would like to, to, to ask you uh, uh, really to uh, let's work together. I'm so looking forward to meet each and every one of you. I will be encouraging every country and every president in our district to work with you. Um, and uh, and uh, we can see it. We can see the friendship between our DGs and the Rotarians. So we can build this uh, friendship and take this opportunity as well as Rotary actors. Uh, all the, the, the numbers and the, the contacts that were sent on the chat, I gathered them and I will send them to you at the end of this webinar. Please be, send your, your, your contact details. Um, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm really happy about the, today's event. And, and let's, let's take this passion to another level. So thank you so much. Yeah, Yasmina, Thank sorry you. to interrupt, but uh, sorry, Michal, one minute, but I, I feel, I can feel how much you are excited, and uh, <laughs> I second all what you are saying. Yes, 2451, 2452, Rotarian and Rotor actors should work together. I was lucky to be a governor 2009 and 10 for District 2450 when Egypt was with us, and we were 10 countries, and during my year also, Palestine joined us. So till now, we consider ourselves as one district, not two districts. So with our work together, we'll prove it that we are together. And of course, uh, DG Ashut, of course, he will second me. Good luck to everybody and sorry to interrupt. Thank you. Thank you, PDG Nija. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Dear Nihal, can I say something to Yasmina? Sure, sure thing, sure thing. Dear, dear Yasmina, as a Rotarian, I want to assure you that we do have a lot of fun we are not just a bunch of serious people. You should attend one of the Ramallah club meetings and you would know what I'm talking about. We have fun, not only in social events, but even in regular meetings. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it would be my honor to attend one of your, your, your events and looking forward, I will be talking to, to, to Vidyar Ar Amir to get your contact details and, and attend one day. <laughs> Thank you I so will much. invite you whenever I have uh, <laughs> Uh, Thank a you. Zoom event, I'm sure I will invite you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so Lovely much. Lovely presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yasmina. I know we worked in a very tight time frame together, and, and this was amazing. Thank you for the spirit. Thank you for the advices. Thank you for all the information, and thank you for everything. Thank you for highlighting the fact that we're friends before anything, and that we work here in the friendship spirit, and we have fun. And whenever you find yourself in Egypt, please come attend by one of our meetings, and we can take you to some of Egypt's unknown places where you can have real fun. <laughs> Uh, right now, we we'll move forward to DRR Aiz. Aiz, the floor is yours. Okay, until Aiz can join us, we will move to our past president, Rogi. Uh, Rogi, the floor is yours. Uh, hi, everyone, again. Um, thank you for taking some time uh, from your daily routine. Um, I, have, I have something to share with you, but I can't do it right now. So can't share my presentation with you. So please 
bear with me. Um, mainly my uh, talk will be about the difference between uh, groups and teams. And for me, uh, at the beginning, I thought that both are the same thing because it's people working together and that's it. And until my first year and I realized how, what is the difference? So a group is usually made of independent individuals uh, having something in common and they come together to do it. While teams, they are usually a group of interdependent individuals who join hands for a realization of a specific goal, which what we all do here. Uh, usually this comes down to uh, the authority of decision-making, which always lies on the team leader and, and, and teams. And, uh, and uh, while, while decision-making in, in groups, usually people are working together and members, they all take, uh, uh, they do the decisions together. Uh, this has a very bad effect because they always focus on individual goals because everyone is working for his own um, sake. They have, they want to progress individually, but on the other hand, in teams, we all work together in order to reach a specific uh, goals. Therefore, you have to realize that roles usually are assigned uh, to in individuals, mainly in, in teams, not in groups, of course. Um, this also has a very bad uh, effect on um, the level of trust, the level of commitment. There will always be conflicts and the synergy will always be off in, in groups. All of this, on the other hand, they have a very positive impact in teams. Usually, even if there's some uh, conflicts, but there, the management of it will be very, very strong. Uh, you, you usually have very positive synergy, you have a very, very high level of commitment and the trust between people are very uh, high. Uh, so after all, you have to say that teams are well-structured, well-engineered, while groups are not. Um, there are very various types of teams, uh, but and I think you can Google all of them, but for me, I have segregated the teams into three. First, the traditionally managed teams, self-managed teams, and self-directed teams. The self, uh, sorry, the traditionally managed teams are usually leaders. They always reside outside the teams, and the autonomy is very, very low. But still, it's better than a group. The self-managed teams, which is my favorite, and I think that Rotor Act Giza Metropolitan is a self-managed team, is a team that manages itself, but still it has a team leader or a president. Uh, and the autonomy is usually very, very high. While the self-directed team is uh, a team that makes all the decisions internally about leadership and how work is done. For me, I don't know, I don't understand the specific role of the president or, or the leader in self-directed teams. So my preferred one is the self-managed team, like I said. Um, and like, I, I wanna end it by the fact that how I, I understood the, the difference between groups and teams, which was uh, the, the beginning of the year, uh, I was present and we had a lot of problems. We had a lot of negative people that are pushing us down. So after we have resolved all our issues together, we have started having more harmony and working together. We had more synergy and working together. And we had a lot of sessions because we had a lot of newcomers who didn't understand what is Rotary and what is the difference between Rotary and the difference between a charity and a Rotary. And uh, once they knew everything, they had more awareness, they had more accountability, they had more uh, high level of commitment in order to uh, reach a specific uh, goal or an opportunity. Um, and we have ended this year on a very, uh, with, a, with a very, very big mega project that made everyone uh, really happy about it. And yeah, we were very tired, but we, we left with a smile on our face. Because at the end, um, teamwork is always the ability to work together. Uh, you work toward a common vision. Uh, we have the ability to direct individual accomplishments towards some organizational objectives. It's like a fuel um, that allows common people to attain uncommon results. Um, finally, I, I, I thought about uh, how to end my presentation. 
uh, and I remember something I read uh, that was said by Henry Ford. He said that coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a progress, but working together is success. And that is the phase that we are all in right now, since we have two districts having uh, a floor meeting together, uh, a Zoom meeting together. And I hope in the future you can have floor meetings uh, with several other districts. So I guess we're in the phase of success and I hope this continues much, much after we are gone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rogi, for this informative talk about the differences between teams and groups and how we tend uh, to apply that in our clubs and how we tend to apply that in the Rotary and Rotary Act in general. Uh, right now, I'd love to move to the most interesting part of, of the day where we talk about future projects. Um, I know that some of our Rotary Act club here, here in Egypt already have some ideas, so I would love them or their representatives to raise their hands and tell us more about the future projects that they think we can do together. So please start by raising your hands, club presidents or club representatives. And of course, if, if, if anyone from uh, D2452 would love to share ideas for future projects and uh, ideas, please ra uh, raise your hand too. Since everyone, okay, let, let's start with with the with the participants, and I'll I'll have my okay, perfect. Okay, uh, Ziad, please come forward. So, can you hear me? Yes, dear, we can hear you. Yes. Uh, so lately, we've uh, in our club, we've been planning to uh, provide uh, start an, a project that we can provide the. Water uh, in, in in a small village that they they have no any kind of water uh, resource. So uh, this is this is this might be an an, an excellent project that we can um, uh, us as Rotary actors in District Two Five Five One uh, participate in. Uh, so the more the the more the the more the clubs, the more the impact. So this was one of the ideas that I want to share with you guys today. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Ziad. Of course, we'd love to be part of this project. Basil, please come forward. All right, cool. Thanks, thanks, Nihal. So, um, just an idea, and we here we really appreciate collaboration uh, from from Rotary clubs in Egypt and District Two Four Five One. The idea started in the last medican that we were in in Cyprus last May, June. Uh, where we thought of how we can really make our Rotaract events, summits, conferences greener. We really noticed that we have a very big carbon footprint impact. Uh, we used a lot of single-use plastics. And then we had the idea, since we have great talents that are coming from sustainability engineering background, public health uh, uh, background, and a lot of talents in Rotaract. So this project was sponsored by Rotaract Mediterranean. Uh, we have here Rotaract Club in Rotaract Club of Jumeirah, UAE. We have Rotaract Club of uh, Madrid, Madrid City in Spain and Rotaract Club of uh, Thessaloniki, Greece. So, so far we are uh, three Rot Rotaract Clubs and we are needing more uh, uh, Rotaract Clubs or districts to hop on board where they really have these talents. People coming from such backgrounds, as I mentioned, environmental engineers, sustainability engineers, public health and the main purpose is we will set standards that we will implement across our clubs in district 2452 and in Mediter all the districts in med mdio the main idea is how we can really measure first of all the carbon footprint that we are doing and what are the set of standards that will help us to reduce it we have a very big titles in rotaract and rotary about going green about sustainability and whatsoever but we thought why not start from ourselves first before we go on and talk more and more about it and how we can really impact our community. So we start internally, we learn from whatever we are doing, how we can do it better every, every year and then implement it in our events and later on take it further. Why not? We are, we are starting on a district level, multi-district level. Why not go globally? Why not have it on overall rotary level? So if you have any of such talents, I'm sure you have a great talent pool in, in Rotaract Egypt, please do reach out to us and we will be happy to have you on board. 
Thank you, Basil. Of course, we'd love to join. We have several green projects here in Egypt. Uh, we, again, us ourselves in Egypt, suffer with pollution and suffer a lot with cover levels, uh, with uh, water pollution, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot of there are a lot of problems. So, of course, we will uh, contact ASAP. Uh, right now, the floor is with Omar. Omar Mabsoud, please come forward. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Nihal. Uh, first of all, allow me to apologize on behalf of our president for uh, Ms. Tanya Abdel Khaliq for her not being able to attend uh, due, uh, due to a family emergency. Um, uh, now I will, uh, first of all, um, uh, pass you uh, through our ongoing project, as we, be, we believe that it is very important uh, to raise public health, and today we are in pink October. So we started with a joint project uh, uh, for uh, professional development with uh, LAU Biblis and Tripoli and MENA um, uh, on the topic of breast cancer as well as uh, 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 raising awareness through social media, through another joint project, uh, through uh, different posters that we put uh, on social media, and uh, a joint project with university-based clubs in Lebanon, uh, where we share the posters uh, raising this awareness uh, like a hard copy. Now we can move into our next project, which is uh, granting warmth. As you may know, uh, we are uh, facing a uh, economical crisis in Lebanon, and for that many people are unfortunately uh, uh, cannot uh, get uh, their basic needs uh, through uh, the winter uh, season. So uh, for this, we decided to uh, try to uh, uh, help them uh, get the, the, their needs uh, uh, from uh, the basic requirements of winter, from clothes, etc., even to more advanced as much as uh, we can. Uh, more advanced, we are talking about uh, the uh, uh, the type of stuff that we use to be uh, a bit uh, like uh, to get uh, rid of the uh, cold weather and etc. For this, we started uh, a fundraiser which is selling uh, pins uh, about breast cancer to show sol solidarity uh, in a way or another to breast cancer survivors. Uh, uh, and from the uh, uh, the money we make uh, from uh, these pens, we are going to allocate them uh, to our granting warmth project, which we believe will be the huge, uh, the, the, the more, most huge project for us this year, uh, as we will reach out to many families that are in need uh, to help them uh, survive through the winter season. For this, I will uh, I will uh, ask anyone who can. Uh, help us in this fundraising event so that we can reach out more people. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Omar. If you're selling them on, in, on an Instagram uh, page or any social media platform, please, please share it. Uh, we would love to, to support you in, in any mean uh, possible. Even uh, us as Giza Metropolitan had a convoy last week supporting breast cancer fighters. Uh, and, and speaking of, I'd love to thank all the, women he, all the women here who are fighting to be empowered and to empower themselves. Thank you girls for everything that you do. And thank you so much for, being, for setting an example for us all to follow. Uh, I'd love to, uh, since we're talking about <laughs> women, I'd love to leave the floor to Reem. Reem has a very interesting idea that I'd love her to share with you. Reem, the floor is yours. Hi everyone, I am Reem Safar, president of Cairo uh, West Gulf. Uh, we are working on a social media campaign for diabetes. The campaign is going to be as following. Uh, walking 200 steps for diabetes, you have to download any step counter application and make a short video of yourself showing the count on the application and saying the purpose is I am walking for, uh, I'm walking 200 steps for diabetes uh, and share it on social media with us uh, and mention our pages. Uh, uh, Giza Metropolitan uh, is going to be part of this project as well, Nihel. Uh, yes, yes, we are so yes. proud. <laughs> So please, if, I, if anyone is interested, please, I shared my contact uh, in the chat box. So please uh, contact me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Reem. Thank you so much. Um, I'd love to move forward to uh, uh, Omar. Omar is a uh, Rotor Act Heliopolis Tyrone uh, president. And uh, he's one of my personally uh, dear friends. Uh, Omar has been in Rotor Act since forever, since I cannot remember when. <laughs> And he has been one of 
our greatest partners in services in service. Omar, the floor is yours. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Omar Rovia, uh, Club President of Heliopolis in Tehran. Uh, I joined Rotor Act in 2016. Uh, uh, now I'm going to talk about uh, our social campaign. We had the uh, awareness campaign via the social media, Facebook and Instagram, uh, concerning the NPOLIO. Uh, we are almost done with the, the campaign. Uh, we are now working, uh, trying to uh, get fund uh, and, uh, and uh, pay it uh, through uh, Rotary International and donate it to Rotary International to fight the, uh, this, uh, this virus. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll try to uh, gather amount, uh, a good amount of money to pay and uh, support the cause. Thank you everyone. Actually, what I wanted to say is thank you so much for the, the, the proposed projects. What, uh, first of all, for the short term, I think they are amazing projects and you can definitely work on together. I, I, we, in order to have a systematic approach, I gathered all the, the, the contact details and I, I wrote down all the uh, suggested project with the name of the person who, who, who said each project so that you can go later on and contact him or her to work with them. So I, we will send it at the end of the meeting or I can ask Nihal to send it later on by email. Uh, this is one for you to, to facilitate uh, your life. Uh, second of all, uh, I will propose another uh, two main uh, directions which are more long long term and not project based. So on a district level, and this we can discuss later on, I think uh, uh, DRR has that, uh, has, uh, spoke to me and we will have another discussion discussion uh, between us but just as an idea we can have two main pro sustainable projects which is first of all um, have a fellowship getting together for all rotor actors uh, online uh, to, uh, for them to get to meet each other we can do some stuff uh, um, uh, games uh, uh, ice breaking events uh, uh, applications and and uh, so on so that they they can start knowing each other this is first this is the first step milestone second milestone is that we can do a professional development which can be i don't know it's just an idea um, a, a, a joint rila and it can be online and it, it might focus on entrepreneurship it might focus on a project development i don't know we can uh, further uh, uh, discuss it with with the uh, rotary district team with the uh, rila chairperson and and uh, and with definitely the rr uh, 2451 and see if it's uh, doable or not uh, i think it would be an amazing uh, event if we can do it together and from there we can uh, during the rila event we can have a specific um brainstorming session where we can brainstorm a joint community project between both districts so it will be uh, this project will be uh, uh, the, the the result of uh, uh, getting together all um, or most of the rotor actors from both districts and we can apply it on both districts so this is how i can see it to because we cannot come and and do a, a, a district project community project on both districts without knowing each other and knowing the dynamics and getting together so it will be a more systematic thing we will discuss it more with the dgs with the drr Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Yasmina. We were actually thinking of the same thing. We, we thought about doing an online Raila, as you mentioned. Uh, yani, uh... Of course, any, any contact, any activity between our two districts is more than appreciated. We were in one family. We are in one family, just in separate apartments. Uh, I appreciate very much our DRR Yasmina's activity. She's doing pretty well, uh, visiting many countries. She's active, vibrant person. She has all what it takes. And thank you, Yasmina, for the great job you are doing. And I hope uh, your example is the uh, leading by example study case for all young people. That's why we emphasize engagement of rotary, rotor actors in Rotary. You are advanced, you are knowledgeable, you are active, you are vibrant, and you are adaptable. That's, you have all what it takes, what we need in Rotary now. It's uh, very, very much important for us, all I mentioned. And that's the key 
point for membership. Thank you very much. And uh, if I can be helpful in any of your endeavors, please let me know. And district team also is ready to support you in any activities you are starting or planning. Thank you. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for the event, for the opportunity. Thanks to everyone who attended today. I'd love to see you all very soon and I wish you a fruitful, very good evening. Thank you so much, guys, for being here today. Thank you for taking the time and have a good night.